Okay, I'm Flea, and I'm happy to be here doing what's my bag today at Amoeba. And I'm here um, with my friend who's gonna introduce herself, so I'm not gonna personally say her name, <laughs> but she wrote, um, and I acted in and helped produce uh, the movie Low Down, which is um, a beautiful and melancholy film. I often thought my father was born of music, but I loved him out of all proportion. You know it's some frightening things, but I dare say you'll be okay, Joe. I'm Amy Jo Albany, and I was super excited about the soundtrack. It's so beautiful. Yeah, Light in the Attic put it out, and it's just amazing. And um, I can't believe I'm here, like, because, you know, I lived right up Gower in Hollywood, and, like, to be here now doing this, it's kind of, it's so surreal. I scrambled around in this neighborhood for many years, not being let in any special back rooms with green tea. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when that was the Jolly, the Jolly Rogers? Yeah. I was a hostess there. That was <laughs> really? one of my first jobs. Really? Yeah. This is much better. I started off, and Amy alerted me to this. It's a CD box set of Glenn Gould playing Bach. Here he works on the piano he favors above all others for practicing. A 70-year-old chickering with a resonant harpsichord-like quality, recalling the instruments of the time of Bach. I'm 52 years old, and when I was 46 years old, I told my band I'm not doing anything for two years. Like we had been just like making a record, going on a world tour, making a record, going on. I basically been on tour for 30 years. When I started taking time off, at one point I decided I would go to school and study music. And in turn, I fell in love with Bach. And Glenn Gould is my favorite player of Bach that I know. Yeah, it's know. just the touch of madness that makes it all the more. Beautiful yeah. somehow, incredible. Especially because, you know, when he played him once and he played him again, like 20 yes. years later, it's totally yes. different. Totally different. And he messes with the notes, too. Like, he improvises yeah. around. And anyways, yeah. so I got this. It's like very pleased. It will give me many, many hours of great pleasure. Many, many hours. I've been looking for this for a long time. I actually, I have a messed up CD. Georges de la Rue, have you heard of this guy? I've heard of him, but I don't know who he is. He's incredible. He's a composer of film music. Tiré sur le pianiste, shoot the piano player, uh, filmed by Truffaut. Qu'est-ce que tu fous ici? Ben moi, je vais te dire ce que je t'avais. Ça va, ça va. Alors tu devrais être devant un piano de concert, devant une salle bourrée à bloc. He's an amazing composer. It's like he a beautiful. Did you do all Truffaut movies? Um, he, yeah, he did. He did a lot of the sort of French noir, you know. Uh -huh. um, and this is like a trifecta of greatness because it's from an amazing book by Goodis. Amazing movie, amazing soundtrack. So it's like triple crown. This is a Wayne Shorter album called Speak No Evil. It's a very uh, popular album in the jazz canon. Unbelievably incredible late era bebop record. I saw some jazz records that had, had actually had a lot more profound meaning in my life, but I got this particular one because of all the ones that I saw that I just love. This is a guy that you can still go and see play today. And it is the most insanely good band Brian Blade and Wayne Shorter, the way they play together, is so otherworldly. They, they communicate on such a high level, but it's for everybody. It's not like academic. It's like deeply spiritual, moving thing. Well, I collect 45s, and, and I used to have this, and I don't know what happened to it. It's a 45 of David Bowie's Sorrow. Bowie to me is someone that he is as great an interpreter of other people's um, songs as he is, you know, makes 
amazing his own music. So I'm very excited. Sorrow, it's just incredible. Oh, I don't even, even know that. No, it, well, it's from um, Pin Ups, you know, which is all covers. Right. Yeah, he does a little sax solo in it. Oh, awesome. Which is. Isn't I it? love his bad sax playing. Uh, okay, I was going to say uh, it's a little um, Bill but, Clinton esque, but. He is such a great jazz guy, and it ties oh, in what? because when we were making Lowdown, um, David Bowie was so kind as to give us a song for the movie. Ah, which we told him, I told him what it was about. He was like, oh, Joe Albany, I'm in. I got these, um, these Jay Dilla records because I just love Jay Dilla. I, I just think he's an absolutely transcendent, phenomenal musician. about him when he was doing it. You know, he died really young, Jay Dilla. He had a, a strain, a blood disease or something. He just made his, his stuff, like basically in his bedroom, he made all this stuff with, you know, sampling, samplers and records that he loved. And I listened to this record, this rough draft, um, this rough draft record. And I just, I was in Big Sur by myself and I was like, had it in headphones and I was walking around on these trails through the mountains just listening to it and I just like, touched this thing in me so deeply. I remember I just couldn't stop crying. It was so powerful. Like, I really love this a lot. Like, um, some people just have the ability to touch you, you know? And he does. From the sublime to the ridiculous. <laughs> uh -huh. So this is from my bag to your bag, because I've told you about this movie, Fat City. Oh yeah. Memories uh, for me echoed right through the film. It was about boxing in California, where I was a young man and had myself done a little boxing. Going back to that scene of my childhood, which wasn't very different from the one that's in the film, was like a sentimental journey. This is a phenomenal movie, really underappreciated, I think. The cinematography is beautiful and the story is just like real. And so this is a, from my bag, to your bag, yeah. yeah there you thank go. You. Well, while we're giving gifts, we might as well do it on camera because I'd planned on doing this, but I was going to do it afterwards. Oh. But let's do it now as I got you the, this you for you. You didn't? Yeah. No. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Oh. Yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah. Oh. If you would ask me what my favorite movie was when I was eight, I'd say War of the Gargantuas. <laughs> I wonder what I'll think now. When I was a kid, all of those Japanese monsters. I mean, they're really them. great, and you know, the like, beautiful soundtracks. Right. Or the gargantuas. I don't know, I loved that. I was in love with the brown. There's a brown gargantua and a green one. It's not just a theory that the brown gargantua is a harmless creature, it's a fact. I don't know what they were, the gargantuas. That was another thing, too. I mean, Gamera's a turtle, and Godzilla's a some kind of a lizard or whatever the hell, but I mean, what are the gargantuas? I don't know, <laughs> they're so strange. Well, there's this one record I got, and I already have it. I just had to bring it up because I think that it's the greatest record album ever made. has everything you could ever want. It has violence. It has like the most deep poetic love. It has action. It has spontaneity. It has incredible arrangement and foresight. This is one record just for me in my life that I've listened to probably more than any other record. It's when I was a kid and I wanted to be a trumpet player and I would play along with it all the time and do really terrible versions of Miles Davis' solos. <laughs> this is, because I have a grandma, old gramophone player, and Creole Love Call, you know this Duke Ellington? So 
incredible and so incredibly strange. I mean, almost to me, experimental. It has these crazy vocals without lyrics, just like this guttural, you know, singing on it. Can't imagine, like, if people put it on and they must have been like, what the hell yeah. is that? Because Duke Ellington is um, kind of one of my heroes, certainly one of my dad's. I'm so happy that I, I found this. Also, it's very precious. Yeah, that's so cool. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>